Um, so excited to be with you guys today to talk about this, this, this topic of social media and, and building a brand, building a marketable brand. Uh, I'm not here to sit here and say, hey, don't tweet this, don't post that, don't be an idiot, don't screw up. Um, you guys have been told that your whole life of what not to do on social media and those things matter, right? There are risks uh, associated with social media and, and you've got to be aware of those things, be, be intentional about how you use it. Um, I'm far more concerned with you using it on purpose, right? To say, hey, this is not a, a toy, this is a tool. This is something that's useful for me today as a student athlete uh, and tomorrow as I move into the real world. So let's, let's just get into it. And so the idea is that uh, social media, it's, it's not just Twitter, it's not just Instagram, it's not just Snapchat. Like these are really powerful platforms. These are really powerful tools. Um, and I, I think of it as like a weapon uh, or a tool, right? Weapons do damage, right? <laughs> Good things don't generally come from weapons. And if you use social media like a weapon, bad things are gonna happen. Uh, bad things for you, bad things for those around you. Destruction is what will follow or you can use it as a tool. Tools build things, right? Tools build, and for us with social media tools, you can build a platform, it's gonna build influence, it's gonna build a brand, it's gonna build a reputation. So it, it, you, can, you can use it as a weapon or use it as a tool. And, if, and you, some of you may be saying like, I'm not using it as a weapon, I'm, I'm not, I don't really care how I use it. I'm just using it, I would say accidentally, right? You're just using it just to use it. I would say that is unintentionally using it as a weapon because you're not being careful. If you don't have a plan, you don't know what, you don't have a reason for what you're posting and what you're not posting, right? Purpose drives our actions. And when you don't have a purpose, um, you're going to make mistakes unintentionally. It doesn't mean, you, doesn't mean you're a bad person, right? We're all human. We're all going to make mistakes. But if you don't have a plan or a purpose for why you're using social media, um, it's, it's going to lead to, to some unintentionally bad, bad outcomes, bad circumstances. That's what I want you to be thinking about today is that, and when I say build your brand, don't hear me saying like have a hundred thousand followers, have a million, I don't care how many followers you have. There are people with a hundred thousand followers who have very little influence in the world, right? The amount of followers is, is not the thing. It's about what kind of person are you? Are you, are you living and sharing a story that's worth following? Um, if, if I'm following, like, why should I follow you? Why should I care about you? Why should I hire you? Why should I come to your game and support you? Those are the things that we're going to be learning and getting from you on, on social media. So when I say build a brand, that's what I mean. Building something of value. Here's, here's the truth with social media. Like you own it. I can't tell your story for you. Now the department, they can put out videos and they can write articles. Like they can do some things and telling your story, but ultimately you own your story. You own your message. Every time you hit send, you are telling the world something about you. Every time you hit send, you are either building your brand or destroying your brand. It could just be, most of what I see on social media is I'm tired, I'm hungry, practice was hard, they gave us homework. They're not bad stuff, it's just noisy. Well, noisy, noisy content doesn't build a strong brand, right? You think about Adidas. Adidas doesn't post just to post. They have a purpose, right? Everything they do is to make people think something specific about Adidas. So that ultimately you buy something from Adidas. Same thing for you. Every time you hit send, what do you want people to be thinking about you? That's, that's, that's what building a brand, a personal brand is. It's like, what do I want people to think about me? And am I using social media in a way to make that reality? By the way, there's no right way to use social media. Like, let's just get that out of the way. There's, there are some wrong ways, but right is whatever is right for you. Right? I'm not telling you to, to use social media the way I do. I have different goals. I have a different story. I have different purpose. So you can learn from things that I do, but you have to figure out what, how, how does social media work for you? What do you want to get from social media? So the four things we want to talk about um, fairly quickly are this idea of building a core, eliminating the noise, staying positive, and thinking long-term. So building your core, what, what does that mean? So you guys are athletes and you know like the, the foundation of your strength comes from your core. Right? Without a strong core, you're out there flailing around. You're, you're going to hurt yourself, ultimately hurt your team because you're not prepared. You're not ready. You don't have the stamina or strength to endure, to perform, to do what you need to do to help the team win. So your core is your foundation of your strength. Same thing on social media. Your core is your identity. Everything you do on social media should be flowing from who you are, your identity, your purpose, your why. What is, what is your why? Lens, you're a Lens student athlete. Maybe you want to be seen as a leader, maybe a musician, maybe humor, maybe art, right? What do you, what do you want to be known for? And here's what you've got to realize that every time you hit send, it's not just your friends. 
right? It's the media. It's your, your peers, your students in class with you. It's the community. It's recruits. It's parents of recruits. It's future employers. We have an opportunity to have to really build influence and do something significant. And, and I think we miss that quite a bit because we don't treat social media with the power that it actually deserves from, from noise, add value, right? value over noise. And you do that when you have a purpose, when you have a why. Being positive. I know that seems cliche, that seems cheesy, but man, there's a lot of negativity on the internet. Like it is where everyone goes to complain about everything. And nobody likes to be around negative people. Like we just don't. Like the negative person on your team, you don't wanna hang out with that person. The negative person in class, you don't want to be in a group project with that person. So why would we think that's any different on the internet, right? We don't, we don't need to spread negativity. And that doesn't mean be fake positive, right? Like I'm not expecting you to go fail a test and be like, oh, what a beautiful day. Hashtag blessed. Like, no, that's weird. That's like, you don't have to share every single issue on social media. And you're going to have bad days. You're going to fail tests. You're going to lose games. You're going to have relationships that fall apart. You're going to get injured. Like life is full of adversity, right? The internet on, on some level is your highlight reel. Like you don't want to read about someone's terrible day necessarily on the internet. You deal with that with people. So you're going to have bad days. Just deal with that in, in the right places. When you have team drama, the internet's not your journal, right? Keep, keep that in the team. Most of the time, I think this generation, you're, you're not trying to cause drama. The internet is just where you process. Like old school people would have an, an actual like paper diary or journal and they'd write things and they'd get it out and they'd be good and nobody would ever see it. Now we do that on the internet. We're not trying to cause harm. We're not trying to be a bad teammate. We're just processing what happened, but then we've made a much bigger issue out of something that wasn't really an issue, right? We posted like, whew, I'm good. All right, get out of my system. Well, now it's gone to a completely different level because now other people are involved that didn't need to be involved. So be positive on the internet. I want to talk a little bit about your platform, your voice. Um, I'm, I'm going to be careful with this because I know this is touchy with people. Um, it is a weird time to be in America. Let's just, let's just call it that. Um, there's a lot of tribalism. There's a lot of you against me. There's a lot of criticism. There's a lot of hate. There's a lot of division. Um, it's an opportunity for you to, to create change, to be the good. You have an opportunity that your generation, I don't think, in my opinion, has never had in the history of time, young people have a chance to create change because you have a voice, because the internet gives you a platform, it gives you an outlet. You've never had that before. With that comes responsibility, it comes power, all sorts of things. Here's what I will say to this. If you care about an issue, post about it. Post about it. Like Add, add your voice, share your perspective. Um, if you don't care about an issue, don't post about it. It's okay. Like you don't have to have an opinion on everything. It's like, and if you don't have an opinion, don't, don't add noise to an already really noisy, chaotic place. But if you care about something, if you care about an issue, share about it, be a voice, use your platform for good, use it for change. The only thing I'll really say is well, two things. One, make sure you're not creating division. Like how you share that message really matters Two, make sure that you are informed about it. Last thing I want to hit on is the idea of thinking long-term. What's really hard about social media is that it's, it's very instant. It's very right now. What are you doing right now? What are you thinking right now? What are you watching right now? Where are you at right now? And we don't think about how is this post going to impact me a year from now, two years from now, five years from now. Well, that comes from having a plan, right? From playing the long game. So, you know, I'm, I'm posting about these things today because I'm trying to get here. Just like with your craft as an athlete. Right? You practiced as a high school athlete, middle school athlete, because you had a plan to play in college. So you did things. You didn't necessarily want to do them at that time, but you did things. You created habits. You put the work in for a future payoff. Same thing with social media. You're, you need to be building towards something. So think long-term. Don't put something on the internet today that you're going to regret in a year from now. That's going to harm you. That's going to drastically change who you are. Think long-term. As you post, and it's, this is easier for seniors than it is for freshmen, right? So, I, so I get that. But if you're a freshman, you got to be thinking: if I post this, there's some employer who loves to hire student athletes, who specifically loves to hire Lynn student athletes, and so they're going to follow you because you're a student athlete at Lynn. And they're going to think, "Man, I love I love hiring student athletes, especially from the school. I'm going to see what this kid's all about." And you're a freshman or a sophomore, and you hit send, and you're like, "Ooh." That's not a kid that I want in my company. 
you just missed out on an opportunity you didn't even know existed. On the same token, by having a plan, by being intentional, you can get your foot in the door at places you didn't even know existed. Don't be, I'm not saying be boring. I'm not saying be average. I'm not saying be quote unquote safe on social media. I'm saying be you, but be wise about how you're you, right? You have a unique story perspective. Like there's enough average out there. Be you, be different, stand out, but just be mindful of how some of those things could be, could be received, right? Your new resume is 280 characters long is your Twitter account. Resume is great. They all look the same. They all have good references. You're going to put your projects and your internships, whatever. I want to find out who you are. And I've got, by the way, story after story after story after story of student athletes who change the way they use social media and have a story of how they got jobs because of it. It's just about being intentional, right? Know what you want and be intentional to build it. So be your best on social media. And all this starts, by the way, with this first thing, building a core. Without that, none of the rest of it matters. That Your identity drives everything. Right? Identity drives behaviors. Identity drives everything you're going to do in, in life, right? This is not just about social media. This is about life. And who you are online needs to match up with who you are offline. Because we'll, we'll, we'll find out that gap pretty quick. But it all flows out of your identity of what you want to be known for. Decide your core values, your core identity, and let every, that, that allows you to say, nope, I'm not going to post this. It may not be bad, but it's not in line with who I am. It allows you to know what to say yes to and what to say no to. At the end of the day, you've got two choices. You can be accidental or you can be intentional. You're not going to accidentally have a good social media presence, a valuable social media presence, a marketable social media presence. You've got to be intentional. Say, this is who I am, and this is how I'm going to represent myself, my team, my coach, my university, my family. I'm going to be, again, not about right or wrong. It's about being wise.